Edmonton, a city of opportunity, a city of dreams. Edmonton is changing right before our eyes lately. There's so much growth and development happening across the city. How will the city of Edmonton keep up with this growth and sustain it? Edmonton may be a city of opportunity, but these opportunities need to be built. We are one city with a shared vision. The city of Edmonton is a place where everyone should have a chance to get ahead, regardless of color, creed, or disability. Diversity and uniqueness make up this city, and for Edmonton to reach its potential, this needs to be reflected in our employees. For a lot of people with intellectual disabilities, they have the potential to be not just good city employees, but great employees, if they're given the chance. Those with intellectual disabilities are often unable to compete on typical job postings and are less likely to be employed than almost any other population. And we understand there are concerns. How much time do we need to spend on training? What about safety? We have forklifts moving around and trucks backing in and out. How much time will she take away from other workers? Many employers um, that I have encountered have the fear of the unknown and many people are not aware of the capabilities of people with uh, intellectual disabilities. Filing. Keeping the supply room organized and neat. Organizing. Sewing. Stocking inventory. Photocopying. Collating. I can do anything. A big part of the problem is that managers find that even when they do want to hire someone with a disability, they find that their hands are tied by strict job descriptions and class specs that make it hard to modify hours or remove certain duties. This is where the Abilities at Work program can help. This new program is built around a partnership between the city, its unions, and community agencies. Rather than going through the typical recruitment process where you try to fit people into pre-existing jobs, with this program, areas of the city can create totally customizable positions that not only fill their business needs, but are also aligned to the unique skills of someone with an intellectual disability. They will also be supported the whole way by disability experts from the community organizations. Let's take a look at a few examples of positions that have already been created through the program. We are at the Employee Service Center. We basically enroll employees in their what we call their employment life cycle. Sarah has come to us and she's been with us since May of this year. She's right now in the role of uh, employee records support. So she's been assisting our employee records clerks in things like filing of documentation as well as sorting of documents. Employing people such as Sarah has filled in that gap that we have. I mean, there are a lot of jobs that require different skill sets and I feel that uh, Sarah does bring the right skill set. It feels good, especially because people like me don't often get jobs. Well, we are at Patterson Garage. It's part of ETS. It's a uh, mechanical garage. We do cycle counts daily, um, and that's where Kyle comes in. We have him do, performing cycle counts every day. It's a very vital um, part of the job. We really haven't used any special accommodations for Kyle. Um, he comes in, he's got his own locker, he has a computer that he uses every day. So he's fit right in as one of the people. And the work here is good to do. It's better than sitting at home, that's for sure. Chrysalis has been great. Um, they've had support workers here for Kyle. Um, they've helped him, they've walked him through, they got him set up. They got him all the schedules. Um, they've been a really big help. And uh, I hope they offer more people like Kyle in the future. Uh, right now we are right outside uh, the Human Resources uh, Recruitment Office. Uh, this is where we do all the recruiting for the City of Edmonton. So Avril right now is helping us in our employment section. She helps with uh, a lot of our filing duties, our other administrative duties. Uh, it is definitely a win-win situation for us having Avril on our team. She's able to do some of those routine tasks and she loves to do the routine tasks. It uh, helps her focus. Uh, once she has learned those tasks, she has been very independent and has uh, learned them quite quickly. I like working at the city because it, I always want to work at the city and I like to work hard and I like to do the filing and get my work done. One of the main reasons that the Coalition of Civic Employees Unions are behind the uh, Abilities at Work program is it gives uh, people a nice safe work environment. The City of Edmonton is a safe and inclusive employer and we feel that uh, people with disadvantages, whether they be intellectual or physical, are welcomed in with open arms and open hearts and they're not taken advantage of in their work environments. With the Abilities at Work program, positions will be ongoing rather than temporary with part-time hours that allow flexibility for both the work area and the employee. 
Thanks to our partnership with key union groups, the program makes use of a unique recruitment process, which the hiring manager has full control of. Thanks to the community organizations, there is substantial support, from identifying tasks to pre-screening and interviewing candidates to helping with training and retention. Often when hiring uh, inclusively, this, it's all about the support and knowing how much and how, or how little support someone needs. What we have found is once a person with a disability starts with an employer, it's just another person, it's another colleague. These people are excited, they're, they're ready to work and, um, and wouldn't give up that opportunity for the world. People often get so caught up in seeing the barriers to hiring someone with a disability and focusing on what someone with a disability cannot do. This doesn't happen with other job seekers. You wouldn't judge a hockey goalie because he isn't good at scoring goals, just like you wouldn't judge an accountant because he isn't able to operate a forklift. We need to stop thinking about what someone with a disability cannot do and instead focus on abilities.